Hello everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac, Greed Mode, or Afterbirth. So t yesterday we unlocked this character named Lilith, and today we have a beautiful start off with Banky, which was the a tears upgrade and ooh, it's a bunch of stuff. So yesterday we unlocked this character named Lilith, so Lilith can't herself shoot out tears. So, there's a little incubus, whatever his name is, following her around at all times. But she also starts off with a box of friends. So, any room, you can start off with double, pretty much double shot. And for greed mode, she's going to be extremely broken since the box of friends will charge every single wave and if we can get like car battery or something like that she'll even be more broken so we're just gonna stay in here for all of the fights just because of um and now we have three incubus so we're gonna either not want any followers at all or really strong followers because of having to do the I don't know, I can't really talk and pay attention to the game at the same time. So we're either going to want really no followers at all, because then we'll have just pure waves of tears, instead of Bob's brain and Brother Bobby randomly doing stuff every once in a while. And we're almost done with the waves, and I'm really bad at this game, so... Oh, just a bunch of you guys. I haven't seen you guys in a greed fight before. Or a greed floor before. Now that we did all those, now we can have four guys out against the Duke of Flies, which is going to just completely melt his health if I can even hit him. Let's see right here. I probably can't. And there we go. He's done. And the haunt isn't going to be that hard considering our wave of tears just flying. So we have effectively more effective than actual quad shot right now, pretty much. And so the haunt is going to be a fairly easy boss if I can just not get hit, which is going to be hard for me since I'm not very good at this game. I don't know if we're going to do a double deal boss considering that we only have one heart left. And now we have capped out tier 8, which is amazing. Go check what's in here. Piercing shot. Ooh. This is starting out to be a wonderful, wonderful run. So we already have capped out tier 8 and piercing on the first floor. But we still have face damage. Which isn't the most, you know, nice. And PJs. And now I'm a little cute baby. Alright. So apparently PJs gives you four soul hearts. Which is even better than what I thought. Alright. We don't want... BFFs? I might grab that just because I really don't know if that works or not. Since BFFs is gonna, I think, double our damage for Incubus. Ooh. I really don't want either of these, but I guess I'll take the bombs. Now I'm a baby who's on fire. I guess we can bomb these guys. And we did get a nickel, which is amazing for greed fight. Or, not greed fight, for greed mode. And I guess we'll just bomb the key beggar too. See if he drops, he drops a pill and lock up. Not bad. Alright. So the only problem with Lilith is that your tears are going to be not where you need them to be or... I really don't know how to explain Lilith. I haven't really played her that much. I'm just kind of going off of what I already know. Alright. Now we can have two of these guys with max tier 8 and piercing. Which should be quite a, the easiest fights ever. Greed should die very easily. Might as well get the easiest characters to fight Greed with. Out of the way first. But we should probably do, be doing more unlocks and not just Greed fights. Since I don't know if that even unlocks anything. Other than me being very terrible at greed mode. 
which I guess a little practice isn't bad at all. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know those guys were over there. What do we got? One makes you larger. Alright, we're back to normal size now. And two of these guys is plenty. At least for now. We should probably pop another one before the boss, actually. So yeah, let's get three of them out. Oh yeah, we just need more damage and we will be set. Or 2020. That way we can have. And not that not gonna be that hard considering now that we have piercing. And high tier rate. Alright. And done, pretty much. Just need to hit the last guy. Alright, there we go. Who do we have? I think we have pin. Two pins who are now dead. And I guess we'll try a devil the other the widow. Not gonna be that bad. And champion spider guy, I really don't remember. Alright. So, we're gonna pick up BFF since I don't really know if that'll do anything. Chaos. Chaos. You know what? I gotta take chaos. Whoops, spades. Oh, now we have keys. And our devil deal went away. Alright. But now we have chaos, and I think that I think I do more damage now. It just doesn't show it. Ooh, this is a weird death floor. Guppy's head. No brainer since it's free. What do we got in here? Cube of meat. No brainer since it's free. And BFF cube of meat, actually, which is even amazing. Even better. Amazinger. E. Psychedelic. And um, what do we got in here? Another nickel. Very, very lucky for the nickel drops today. We don't want any of those, so we're gonna bomb this, see what we get. Roid Rage might be nice, since that is a damage and speed up. And we have double cube of meat, so we actually might get the Super Meat Boy unlocked on, considering now that we have double cube of meat already. Oh, that guy needs to die. So yeah, we're pretty much set right now since I think BFFs actually helped. Alright, we have that meat boy. I think we're one meat boy away. From Super Meat Boy. And oh, I need one more. One more charge. There we go, Super Meat Boy! Finally got the achievement for that too. I've never done that before. Probably because I'm terrible. And, my gosh, this is insane. And Loki, triple Loki, pretty much double Loki, considering that there's one full Loki and two half Lokis. So, I guess that's fine. So we're just going to go and shove our tears into him. So we really do need damage, so that... Um, what is it? The purple syringe pickup is going to be very nice. We're going to go into our devil deal, see what we get. Nothing, because we have chaos. Which is fine. Totally fine. going to grab growth hormones, that's what it is. We really don't need the speed up. If anything, we should get more health ups. Because I'm very bad at this game. I just know a lot about it. Not very good, just know a lot. So we're going to go on to our third floor here, which is going to be the womb. Let's see what's in here. Mom's key. Plus two keys. Rotten Baby actually is going to be very nice. And nothing in here. Sad. And no nickel, which is, again, sad. What have we got? And you are going to get me killed, so let's grab the prayer card. And we might want this guy, since then we're going to be immune to bombs. And he is stuck there. And now we're gonna have times two rotten babies, BFF rotten babies. Actually, no, it would be, have to be hive mind for it to do anything. They're just gonna be bigger. And we really need to kill those guys. All right. So now we have higher damage. Oh my. 
My one run might be done. Uh, uh, I might have to go into serious mode here. Considering we're at effectively the lost right now. Ooh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, all right, all right. Take host hat. And, oh, uh, I guess we can take the heart. But, oh, this is not good. Is there gonna be three of them? There is three of them. That guy's stuck on that thing since he can't really move. Yeah, he's stuck. Alright. Probably syphilis, I think. Is your name? What do we got? Skolex? Skolex. Single Skolex. Not gonna be that hard. It's not really that hard of a boss. It's more of a time boss than a hard difficulty boss. Just need to hit him in the butt. Not the face, not the arms or legs, not the chest, just the butt. Alright. Is that not that hard? Considering we have piercing, I don't know. Alright, there we go. We're definitely not doing a Devil Deal boss, because we can't really do it, considering we have one heart. Now we're in Shoal! Alright, contract from below. That's going to be a nice one. There we go. Flight plus spectral tears. Not going to be bad either. Lord of the Pit. Tammy's head. Those aren't going to do anything for me. Alright. Take that. Alright. So. We're going to re roll. Cricket's head. We're going to take before Guppy's head. Because that's a huge damage up. What do we got? Steam sale, oh my. That's gonna be insane. Now that you have host hat, the shoal floor should be pretty easy. But we are still at only one heart. Oh. All right, let's get out more of our guys out. Ooh, that's not good. This isn't good. Use a little range, actually. Wouldn't be too bad right now. I don't know if Contract from Below is actually doing anything right now. These guys, super easy, because we have piercing. I'm gonna do another one, because we really don't want to die. Alright! What do we got here? Experimental treatment. We don't want lower luck. Alright. Let's just do a normal normal mode Isaac run. I guess we can reroll until we get one item room would be fine. There we go. We got two red chests. I got some soul hearts. I can do. I could deal with that. I kind of want to make these longer runs. I probably would have done another run anyways if I actually did do that Lilith run, which was set, and I don't know how I failed it so hard. So I guess there hasn't been a single enemy yet. Oh my! This is literally the easiest floor you possibly could have gotten. Thank you, normal mode for being completely easy and giving me a break from <sighs> Cricket's body! Definitely taking that. Nice tears up. And we get splash damage, which is insane, but our range is gonna plummet super bad. Who do we got? We got Pin. Really not gonna be that hard since we have splash damage. Those extra tears are probably gonna hit him. So we effectively have number one for, or no, we don't effectively have number one. We pretty much have number one range. And look at that, another tier up. 
we have plenty of tier rate right now, so we should be fine. I guess pretty much now we just need some damage and some range. A double key room may be nice, but I want to get like five or like pretty much all key drops from this floor if I was to do that. And there's another key drop. That's nice. All right. What do we got in here? Nothing. All right. And I'm very bad at this game. Apologies. I can't really speak and play this game very well. So we're actually going to turn down the game a lot because it's really loud and really overpowering my mic right now. So if that was really bad, I really apologize. But the... And the lockpick. I always thought it looked like a piece of corn. But that's just me. And there's a tinted rock up there that we can't get. And I'm bad at this game. So I guess we'll go back. My problem is that I rush into rooms too fast. And what do we got? A golden chest with some money. Not the best. But maybe we can eventually get, you know, I don't know, a shop. What do we have in here? TNT. Reusable, or Minecrafter. I think it's a reusable bomb type of thing. Which isn't going to be that good, but it's also not going to be that bad either. And we're going to go check out our shop really quick so we can maybe donate a little. So we can try to get that 99 cents. Alright, what do we have in here? All right, I, we're totally checking out the shop, that's for sure. And I'm very bad at this game. All right, what do you got in here? Blue map and a soul heart. We're going to actually bomb this guy, get our devil chance, and some more cash. We're very close to 100 cents right now, which is really nice. It's going to be a tenth of the way there. So I guess we're going to go check out our double key room now, considering we have infinite keys. Let's see if there's actually a secret room right here. No, there's not. And what about up here? Oh, there's our secret room. Alright, what do we got in here? Let's see if we can blow up both of these guys. And we can, and we get a bunch of money and a keys. Five cents and a key, not bad at all. So we're checking out our double key room. What do we got? Some brown chests, a nickel. Are you a wizard pill? We're definitely going to wait for that to go off. We're going to go load in some more money into our shop, though. Which is going to be very, very nice. Now that we're going to have over 100 cents in the shop. And we'll be able to buy the blue map, which is going to be very nice. And I forgot how you guys work. There we go. 100 cents. Blue map. All right. Secrets. So now we know where every single secret room is going to be. So I guess we can go into this secret room. What's this? Oh, that's what that does. Yep, yep, yep. That's what I thought it did. So we're going to keep waiting. Oh, are you a wizard has finally worn off. And what do we have in the super secret? I guess we can blow you up for a half a heart. Not going to be that bad. Not bad at all. All right. Checking out, we have Little Horn, who's going to be fairly easy. All you need to do is just dodge his bombs. And he's going to die from the fire because he's a freaking idiot. Look at that. Boom. Done. Latch key. It's going to give us some luck, some keys, and a soul heart. What do we have in here? Guppy's tail. Definitely taking that, considering if we left it. I don't, we couldn't even get to Mega Satan if we wanted to right now. All right. Let's check over here. What well, we really, we really, really, really need some damage. We could really go for some more money so we can load up our... This might be a super secret room. Yeah, looks like it. Maybe. Alright, yeah. We look. It looks like we have a lot of damage, but we really don't. That's all tier ray right there. What do we have? Dark Bomb Paradise. Alright. It's not going to be that good of a, of a room since we don't have Dark Bomb. It's going to be nice since our luck up is one, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense that the whatever super secret's over here. Another key. Nice, nice. Thank you, Latch Key, for giving us these opportunities to have these fairly nice luck up. All right. Guess we'll go this way. Nothing in here, but 
broken bobs. And there's gonna be a penny staring us in the face. At least it wasn't a dime. It can't be a nickel. Or not a nickel. At least it can't be a quarter. Because that's a item pickup instead of a consumable. Alright, what do we got in here? Blue bombers. We drop those guys. Alright. Speed plus shot speed up. Not gonna be bad. But once again, we're gonna want more than that. Gonna blow this guy up for a higher devil deal chance. Yeah, here we go. Pop some money into our... Don oh, and the donation machine broke. That's fine. So shot speed technically adds range, I think. It looks like it does, but I'm not 100% sure. So the blue map pickup is going to help us out a lot, considering our current situation of not having damage, so we're just going to get a bunch of items instead, which is going to help us get more damage. And we have Champion Chub, which is, I think, the fast champion. Yeah, it looks like it. But our tier rate and splash damage is going to make it so he's not going to be able to hit us very often. Aren't you, Chubb? And he hit us since he's a champion. One heart of damage. Not going to be that good. Let's see. The screw. Tears plus shot speed up. So we have almost double the amount of shot speed. And we have a lot of range now, apparently, too. Which is weird. But now we have max tier 8, which is really nice. Let's go down here to the super secret, it looks like. Bomb that. Kills the Larry. Ooh, damage reduction is really nice. So we're going to keep the lockpick because we, since we have Guppy's tail, we're going to be getting a lot of golden chests. And yep, this is the super secret. I don't know how I knew. I just did. But whatever. This isn't a pre-recorded run. I, I swear. I swear on my left. All right, what do we got in here? An eternal heart. Not that bad. Not that good either. And our boss already we found. Our boss already we found, ye. All right. More money, more keys. Too bad we can't donate because of our machine is broken it for this run. But we're gonna be wanting to donate as much as possible to get more items in our shop. So yeah, pretty much shot speed is negating all of the range down considering we have almost whatever 1.5 times as much shot speed as normal I guess we probably should have taken petrified poop to break all those and let's kill all these guys wait for them to get bunched up there we go one shot all right troll bomb eh we're just trying to find our item room here there is going to be a trap room not a trap room. A cursed room. I believe that's what they're called. I don't know. Once again, not very good at this game. I just like watching videos of it and playing it occasionally, which is a lot, apparently. But yeah, shot speed's also going to make our splash tiers, whatever the hell they're called, our splash tiers go even farther, which is going to be nice. All right, so our regular secret room's up here. We have these guys, the Zamzams. And I have no more soul hearts to protect my devil deal. And I'm going to get raped in the corner. And I'm gonna get raped in the corner again. And this is why you need damage up, everyone. A bunch of tier eight, that's not gonna matter. Get raped in the corner. But, I'm gonna keep going here. These guys, vampire bats, I think that's what they are, have a lot of health. So we're going to go in here. And nothing, and I'm very bad at this game for this fairly set run. Because uh, all I need is damage, I'm already one piece guppy. And this damage reduction, the mask of infamy is going to save my ass more than I want it to. Or more than, since I have, I have two luck up, how did I get that other luck up? Rotten baby, not a damage up, but it's still nice. Let's 
gun, please, and it's greed. This might, yep, this is the end. Sorry for these terrible play, I don't know. But yes, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think of the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Laters.